This is a wall RAM solid state drive that's been mailed in for data recovery. This is one of those cheap no name brand SSDs you see online or in cheap desktop PCs. To open this up you'll need a flat tool and it's recommended that you pry inside this gap here away from the electronics. Just simply get your flat tool, pry inside and lift. Now the reason why I don't want you to pry close to the electronics is you might pry inside and damage something so it's safer up the back. Now we have access to the inside PCB. For hardware problems for this brand of SSD there are two types. The electronics can fail or the memory can degrade or the firmware can brick. This wall RAM SSD uses a silicon motion controller chip and you can see the model number here. It's SM2259. XT2G. On the reverse we have another two memory chips and surprisingly they're made by SanDisk. Because this SSD is not working we have put it into a special factory mode so we can fix the firmware. If you look up the top the capacity and ID is wrong. Now the customer said it's meant to be 512 gigabytes. So let's fix the problem with the firmware using our special tools. We have a database of all SSD firmware, so we're going to repair it now. We're detecting all the parameters with this SSD. You can see now we have the correct capacity of 512 gigabytes. And if we check to see if we got data access, we do. We can now get all the customer's files and photos back. If you need data recovery from a wall RAM solid state drive that stopped working, isn't detecting or has hardware issues, you can mail it in at zeroalpha.com.au from anywhere in the country and we will get your data back at the lowest price.